All right, Oren. What are you doing today? Uh, shooting the 22. Okay. Today, you are shooting which one? The green one. Okay. So you got that right there is a Remington, and you're shooting that out there at the little targets, right? All right, how was that? Good. Good, you like that? Yeah. You want to load up and do it again? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay, so now Oren's going to try shooting at 50 yards. Nice. Be patient. There you go. Good job making that ring. Oh, be patient. The Glock 22. You ever shot one of these before? A little nervous? Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember, keep that gun pointed. Hold tight. You ready? Okay, when you pull the trigger, it's going to go bang. Hold on to that gun. Watch the barrel. I'll take it from you. Where'd you aim at? I aimed at this target right yeah. here. Look and at I that. Down here. Nice shot, Oren. That's a really, really good shot. Thanks. Scare you? A little. A little? You want to do it again? Yeah. Okay, let's go get another bullet. So, for safety reasons, we're doing the whole Barney Fife thing one bullet at a time. That way, we don't have to worry about the gun dropping or even pulling the trigger twice. Do you know what kind of gun you got? Uh, VP. VZ. Good VZ. try. It's a VZ and it shoots a 762 by 39 bullet. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the first time you ever shot something like this, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to still do the whole Barney Fife thing and we're going to load up one bullet so that we're all safe and we'll walk out there and shoot at that target. So don't load it up yet. Let's just walk out there. Hold on to the gun nice and tight. Front goes in. There you go. Nice. Okay, and then you got to grab the bolt handle. Pull straight back. Nice and hard. Okay. Shoulder forward. Not bad. Okay, watch the barrel. Good job. Where'd you shoot? I shot at the top right target. Oh, that big hole at the top? Uh, I think so, yeah. Because let's walk up there. I don't remember that big hole being up the top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, this one right here. This what you're shooting at? Uh-huh. Good job. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Awesome. Do you like shooting those? Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Uh, that one. Was it? All right. Okay, let's pack up and call it quits. What are you doing, guys? But look up at us. We're typing on our top rhymes. <laughs> you're not implying that you're old, are you? It actually works. No, we're not. Oh. My earring? Yeah. Of course it actually works. They didn't make stuff to throw away back then. Look, it's even made out of metal with metal parts. Today it would have been made out of partial cardboard and plastic. Now the Smith Corona I got when I was a sophomore in high school. Really? Yeah. So what year would that be? That would be um, 57. Was it new or used? It was uh, new. So it's a 1957? 1957. Mm -hmm. What about this one here, this Remington? The Remington, and that was uh, Gary's mother's typewriter. Oh. Uh, we don't know what year. Hmm. <laughs> Lorena thinks she wants a typewriter, don't you? Are you sassfrassing? <laughs> what? What's with the cane? <laughs> well, I can't walk. <laughs> it's style. Well, apparently, you can't type either. I wasn't as old as I used to be. No, sorry, I wasn't as young as I was used to be. But look what I found. I haven't seen these forever. I didn't know they were making them anymore. 
So I'm gonna get a Suzy Q I haven't had since a first one under. I'm excited. Yay! It's the last thing in the world I actually need, but they look different. No longer the same. They also seem to be a little bit smaller in length and width. They're very more square. They are. I used to love these things. They're my favorite of all of them. <laughs> That's cool though. I didn't think they were ever gonna make these again. Susie Q. Sniff it. Doesn't smell like the old ones. He's not a member. <laughs> really, really chocolatey. Ew. You can see the squint in your eye. The breading, the cake mix, uh -huh. really dry. Uh huh. I guess the filling's probably pretty accurate, but it is dry. You gotta have milk with these, you have to. There's no satisfaction like you got with the Suzy Q. This yeah. is more like, uh, that's too bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's disappointing. Huh. So, apparently, I've come to hell, and Lorena is gonna take back the little cart so she can return it, going as slow as she can possibly go fast, if that makes any sense. As fast as she can go slow? Kind of. Kind of. Earlier today, she was acting like a little old lady. But now she's, okay, put it back. That was nice of you. We are going to Ridley's for Donut Friday. We haven't been here about two weeks. No, we've been going to a different one. All right, but not today. Today we're gonna get Ridley Donuts. We're back. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna go up to the gun range to shoot my bow, which doesn't make any sense, <laughs> but. It's because it's where we can go and we not get in trouble for shooting your bow. Yep. What are our choices today? There's that big one. What are Texas donut. Thing is huge. It's like a three person donut. Maple for you, I take it? All right, and then for me, would you get? Oh, it's a blueberry. Yeah, it's got sprinkles on it. I don't know. Nah. Is there one way back there? Uh huh, I think so. Start back all the way there. Actually, you move this chocolate donut here in the front with the sprinkles. There's one right behind it. Uh, right here in front of the blueberries, there's that chocolate donut with sprinkles. Move it. And then behind it is a blueberry. Awesome. All right, we got our donuts. Okay, now what do we need? Milk. Gotta go get milk. We'll go eat, eat the donuts at the gun range? Okay, let's go get our milk. Now, why are you gonna go shoot the bow? Because um, the girls can't, well, someone in our ward asked me if I would teach um, girls how to shoot a bow. So I just need to go up and practice and try to remember what to do, because <laughs> I haven't shot in two years. No, so Wednesday we gotta go up to Oneida Dam? Yeah. That, yeah, that's where it's at, right? We'll go up there and you'll spend I think just the morning, teaching the girls how to shoot the bow. Uh, Bob, you teach, I'm only 11, and I'm not, I'm not even allowed to go to girls camp yet, because I'm not even 12. And so I'll be teaching 17 year old girls and stuff. <laughs> I think it's funny, but good for you. <laughs> Is Emily gonna come? No. We've even asked, okay. So our plan to go to the gun range failed miserably. Place was packed, wasn't it? Yeah, there's nowhere we could go. Nowhere. So instead, we're gonna come back home and let Lorena shoot her bow in the backyard. Hopefully she doesn't shoot the dog. No. I wanted to put him inside the kennel. No, I'm not gonna put him in the kennel so that he can suffer, so that you can shoot the ball. Okay. I'll, just, I'll just be out there with you. So we're gonna do Donut Friday here at home, which unfortunately not the plan. Give me my donut. Maple bar. Yeah, that's something. 
Ah, blueberry. You can use this as a plate hand. Thanks. Give me the sticky end, huh? All right, scoot over a little bit, would you? You're like crowding me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> unfortunately, while the gun range didn't work, Donut Friday's going to work. Yep. That's not all we're doing today. This morning I had an interview with Highland. Uh, for those of you who don't know, which is most of you, it's our, one of our local high schools. There's three high schools. Well, White. yeah, three public high schools, and then there's what? Three private. That's three private. No. There's a Grace Lutheran. Oh, yeah. There's an Academy. And there's a Con one over here. Oh. Roosevelt, too, come to think of it. Oh. I didn't know Roosevelt was private. Well, it's a charter school. Technically, it's not private, okay. private, but it's not public. No, no matter what charter school people say. The point. I had a job interview to teach freshman and junior social studies history. I really want the job. I like my school now, but I don't want to be teaching geography forever. I want to teach history. So I'm hoping the interview will get me that position. Mixed feelings on it. I'm not sure how it turned out. It's just two people interviewing me. It's a summer interview. Nobody else could be found, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Tonight, we're going to go to the baseball game of Nile oh. Falls. I was going to the museum, right? Yeah, we're going to go to the museum there in Nile Falls for their um, Rebels display they have right now. 1776 related material. And then at the ball game, why are we going tonight? Do you remember? Because they're going to have the World Series trophy there. Mm -hmm. The Royals won the World Series last year. And our Nile Falls team is a minor league affiliate. Their rookie league, and because of that, they get the trophy to come by. So tonight's the night you get your picture taken with it. Seen it once before in Great Falls. We lived there when the White Sox had won, and the trophy came to town. So this is my second time, and it'll be your second time too. But you just won't remember. Mm -mm. We've seen the Stanley Cup. Well, I shouldn't say we. You were too young to remember that too. Stanley Cup and World Series trophy. I think it's awesome. The trophy is really cool to stand there in person by it. So we just need to see the um, soccer and basketball. All sorts of trophies you can add in that list. Which ones? Oh, football. Yeah, you can throw football in there. You can throw rugby in there. Lacrosse. <laughs> I don't know if they have a trophy. They probably do have some kind of championship piece. Water polo. There's a bunch. And I got this today. Boom. This is my brand new upper from 22 Mods for All, I think is the name of the site. Scorpion Arm Armament? I don't know. Taking a big chance. I couldn't find a single review online. And now there is one. They put up this last week. And there's a couple reviews on the forums that people had written up, but they sounded so paid for. So I got mine lower in the mail on Monday. The uppers in the box haven't opened it yet. We're going to do a review on that as an unboxing that we'll put together and do an actual review on the gun and see what we think. I'm excited for it. I mean, if it works, and it should, and technically there's nothing wrong with it, it's going to be a really good buy. It's Benjamin Franklin. Hmm. A kite. But as a cow. As a cow. Donuts. Mm. Donut smooch. Mmm. <laughs> hey. Don't treat me like I'm weird. You're supposed to love me unconditionally, you're my daughter. You are weird. Silly wanna be tween. Wanna be? You're supposed to be nice to me. <laughs> I changed your diapers. You owe me. Mm -hmm. mm. 
when it's my turn to have diapers changed, you'll probably just put me in an old folks' home. Send me a Christmas card to keep your conscience clear. <laughs> Hey, who paid for that donut? There's this thing called asking. Can I have the last of it? <clears throat> I don't want any. I'm just teasing. I don't want any. I'm okay. teasing. Oh. Middle gold. Mm. I just spilled milk on it. I see that. Can you get a napkin? Can you better grab your thumb. Why? Because it's going to drip down your chin. It's going to land on the countertop. Can you get a napkin? <laughs> I can. Oh, it fell in your hand. Yeah, so? You're like a little two-year-old slob. Chorky. What Chorky. are you saying that for? Chorky. 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 You're weird. Chorky. All right. Donut Friday done. Chorky. High five on the Donut Friday, man. High five, Chorky. World Series trophy is here, so we're gonna get our picture taken with it. All right. Who'd you bring with you? The stranger? Oh, this one here. <laughs> Could be another good night. Good weather. A little bit of a breeze. Is it all like the Stanley Cup, where each player gets to take it? It's not. There's not a tradition like that. Okay. Hey, you made it in. All right. Pardon? Weighs about 30 pounds. 30 pounds. So give me a... No. Okay, I'm gonna get your picture, sweetheart. Alright, view and mine taking like three. Make sure I get one. Helena came to see the World Series trophy. Every time we come here, we always fill out the little forms for um, the giveaways. Well, tonight I won giveaway for the best seat in the house. After coming here for over 10 years, it's like a couch. If yeah, it's push. a big old couch down there, right? Uh -huh. It's a great seat. Now, number number base. Never actually won that. I've done a lot of other things, but never got best seat. And then as soon as we sat down, they called the next one and me to do the racing with Charlie. She gets to run around the base with Charlie, man. That's awesome. That's good. We both win. And last time we were here was when Mom and I went out there and did the whole build a burger thing, right? Uh huh. Man, we're just killing it tonight. She's just be like. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go run? Mm -hmm. You excited? Yes. What do you mean you guess? Isn't it cool to go out there and run? <laughs> yes. It is? You like running it, don't you? Yeah. And they can do that every night. You should be excited. Wait. This may be the only chance you ever get. There's a ball game every night? No, every night they're here. Oh. Right? You only do it to 14, so you should be thankful. Otherwise, I had to sign your mom up and watch her run. Charlie's serious. He's ready. Yeah, look at this. What are you doing? You're just sitting there. You're going to lose. You're going to be the first kid ever to lose this race. Hey! That Alan's going to become top heavy in this Oh, geez, hold that baby. <laughs> Helping her stretch. There you go. That's nice of you. Man, you're doomed. <laughs> you're gonna stretch now? I don't know. Are you gonna be happy? No kids ever lost. Ever. I did see Charlie lose once though. Some I did see Charlie lose once though. This race years ago, it was some dude in the costume. They pulled an adult out there and let the adult run, and he beat her, and everybody was booing. And then he turned around, pulled the head off, and dealt to a knee. Yeah, 
marriage proposal on first base. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crazy Al. Can we get your picture with her really quick? Got it. See, look how limber and worked out she is. Oh, come you on. are in trouble. You gotta beat two of them? What's the owl's name? Yeah, you're gonna go third to second and then over to first. You're gonna take her right. Tripped a little kid. I tripped a little kid. Was that fun? Tripping the kid, yes. No, <laughs> running the bases, man. Was that fun, Lily? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Look up here. Is that fun? Yeah. Take our picture, Lily. I love running the bases with her every single time. Right there. You don't have to water it, guys. So we were just coming home from a ball game and stopped here and we found these. So we just decided that it was fun to vlog. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye. Wow, what a great night at the ball game. Not only do we get the best seats in the house, but Lorena got to chase the mascot and she got her very first foul ball ever. And best of all, we got to see the World Series trophy the Royals won last year. And how about those two shots that Oren had with the pistol and with that rifle? They were nearly bullseyes. The only bad part of the whole week was a Suzy Q that had more promise than delivered. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Till next time, see ya. Donut smooch. <laughs> Getting some drinks, and we found these. So let me explain these, <laughs> these amazing looking things. So as you see, you have the fake grass on top because it feels like you're always walking on it. So it's soothing.